Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we will be taking a look at the latest feature drop from Google for the Google Pixel devices. This is the December feature drop, and it's very, very easy to see what is brand new. Not only is everything written out online right when this update is pushed out, but you can open up the Pixel Tips application, which is pre-installed on the device, and simply go right into exactly what is new, and then you can tap on it. It'll take you directly over into that specific setting. So this this way you wouldn't have to first off search around the phone to see what is new and then try to find where it's located within the settings because sometimes it just doesn't make sense. So this is one thing that I wish uh, Samsung would do on their devices, but here we are Google doing it perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at everything that is brand new. And I do want to let you know that a few of these are only exclusive to the Pixel 7 series. A couple of these will work with the Pixel 6 series, and then some of the others will work for the ones before that as well. Now, the first three are listed listed right here, there is more than this. So we're gonna cover these three first, which is the main features. Then we'll take a look at just a couple others. So first off, the recorder speaker label. So this one's actually pretty cool. So all you'd have to do is open up the recorder. You can tap on the record button to start recording, and then you can take a look at the transcript, and then you can see speaker labels. So first off, it starts off as person one, and then person two, person three, person one, and then you can go back after the fact and you can put in names for each person. So you can see person one, person two. So you're able to take a look at everything that's going on. Now, as you scroll down, there is one thing you wanna take a look at. You can turn this feature on or off in the recorder app. Speaker labels are only available for conversions in English. Now, I wasn't really able to play around with this one. I don't know if you have to speak a different language and then transfer it into English and then you're able to get it, or if everybody can speak English and have it work. That's one area that I'm kind of lost in because when I opened up the recorder, and I went up inside of the settings of the application, nowhere did it say anything about picking out different voices. Now I did test it. I tried a couple different voices. I also tried it with a TV to pick up a, a, a separate voice than mine. I, I also spoke and then my wife spoke and it just didn't do it for us at all. And I'd have to say that some of what I was saying didn't really come out Perfect. So I think that there's going to be maybe one more small little update when it comes down to the recorder, because this is supposed to say mic check one, two, one, two, mic check. And right over here, same thing, mic check. And this one just says my check instead of like check. So hopefully this will be a little update coming through because for some reason for me, I'm not able to get it done. But I did want to show you what it's supposed to look like, you know, through this application here. All you got to do is just watch that little video. Now, feature number two is a pretty massive one. I got a feeling that there's just going to be a lot of independent videos talking about this one feature because it is a pretty big deal. You're able to get VPN by Google One for free if you own the Pixel 7 or the Pixel 7 Pro. Now it does state down on the bottom here that the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro devices in India and Singapore are not eligible for VPN by Google One. But if you live anywhere else, you'd be able to get this into your phone for free without having to pay monthly and yearly subscriptions. So again, this is very simple. I really wish other companies would do this. Uh, Google got this thing right. All you gotta do with something new, you just go through, you watch the video, you tap on one single button, it takes you into the Google One screen. This is where you go into VPN and get started. Now, this is where you want to go through and you'd be able to just turn this on. So your Pixel comes with VPN by Google One. So you just hit on got it. You hit on this button right here. Uh, it's going to ask if you want to get it connected and that is it. So now VPN is connecting uh, and then if you wanted to, you can always turn it off by going back into the setting and you just simply turn it off right there. So this basically reduces online tracking by hiding your IP address. Stay protected from hackers on unsecured networks like public Wi-Fi, and you can browse the web with a secure and private connection. On to the next one, this is feature number three. Again, this one's a pretty good one as well. You can do an independent video on this one. This one's called Clear Calling. So what's gonna happen is it is a AI that's kind of going through the, the background noise of their voice you're talking to. So if you are talking to someone else in a very crowded, loud room, it will go through and bring their voice more clearly while minimizing the background noise. So if their phone doesn't have that good a type of quality of cancellation mics, this AI right here is able to get it done. Now you do wanna keep in mind, clear calling is available depending on your Wi-Fi and mobile network connection. It may not work for all calls. So again, if you just wanna turn it on, you simply tap on this button here and you tap that on. Very, very simple, very cool. So uh, again, thank you Google for uh, pushing off this little update right here as well too. 
Now we're gonna head over into feature number four, which was not listed on that little screen. So we're gonna go inside of the settings. Once you go inside of settings, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna take a look at the security page. Now this is one that has been updated and the Samsung devices that's running Samsung One UI 5.0 with Android 13 looks just like this. So that's basically kind of where it's all coming from is just Android 13. Uh, so they were able to sum everything up in one spot. There's no problems. You're able to see every single thing. You have your app security. So you can see if your Play Protect has been scanned, uh, find my device. So if you lose your device, you'd be able to find it. Let's see, let me get out of this. Uh, and then also too, you'd be able to uh, take a look at your security update. You can see if you have uh, what you're using for a screen lock. So right now I'm using a pin. You can see if you have your face and fingerprint unlocked. So basically if there's any of these that you're missing, it's gonna let you know, hey, red exclamation point, you don't have face or fingerprint unlock. So that's a way that you'd be able to go through and bring up the security of your device. Google security checkup. Google Play uh, system update as well. And then go inside of more security settings through here. And then lastly, we're gonna take a look at Google Pixel wallpaper. So this is something that again, wasn't listed on that screen, but when you go inside of your wallpapers, you're gonna notice some brand new wallpapers inside of curated culture. So inside of here, if you use this option, or maybe this is just a brand new mode, I've actually never really played with curated culture uh, uh, wallpapers. I've never changed any of my other wallpapers from before. I kind of kept it as normal. So I've never played with this little album here. So either it's brand new or everything in it is brand new or some of it has been added in. So maybe there's twice as much, three times as much. Uh, but yeah, this is where you'd be able to take a look at some brand new wallpapers if you'd like to take a look. So that was pretty much every single thing that's brand new a part of this update again it was pushed out just a couple days ago or yesterday uh, kind of depending on when you watch this video uh, so if you want to take a look at everything brand new go inside of pixel tips if you don't have this application make sure you have it if you disabled it make sure you enable it again so you can see everything beyond that you can go down here and you can take a look at more things so you can learn more about tools chats and shares digital well-being privacy and security so there's a lot of stuff here that you can learn but on the very top is everything brand new along with the additional two that we just got done talking about so hopefully you guys appreciated this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later